Hiya and today I'm going to be doing a Taylor Swift at the Brits makeup look for you and if you're like thinking oh my gosh you don't look anything like Taylor Swift at all but I'm just going to do this look so if you like because I really do like Taylor Swift like makeup and how she wears it but if like you do want to see a Taylor Swift look then just keep watching and I, I have no makeup on at all that's why I'm obviously doing a makeup look so I hope you enjoy and just keep watching to find out how to achieve the look. So I'm just going to start off by using the Professional by Benefit just on my nose to smooth out the area so it's easier for the foundation to be applied. So I'm just going to be rubbing like this onto my nose area and just under my eyes just a bit. And then please ignore my dirty top. I've just spilled my pen top. I don't really want to get changed. So all my poor professional supplied them, um, it's nearly all gone but yeah, this is only the mini version but yeah it's really good as well. So now I'm just going to start off with concealer. I usually put concealer on after I've like put on my foundation and everything but I'm going to put some underneath and some on top but the one that I'm putting on top is much more better quality and I'll just show you close up of my um, concealer what I'm going to use. So it's just the liquid concealer by NYC. And it's applied. So yeah, and um, that's my concealer. And now on to foundation. And this is what I use in every single of my videos. So you already know, so I don't really need to do a close-up. So I've just dotted that around my face and now I'm just gonna rub it in. So like I said a couple of seconds ago, I'm gonna be using my better quality concealer just on top of my foundation. And it's for TO Cell Cover Repair. And it's just this one here, and obviously it's been used quite a lot. It's got different shades, so it's good for when you do your friend's makeup. So I'm just going to apply that on now. So Taylor Swift, I've been looking at her photos, and she doesn't really have that like contoured look. But I'm just going to quickly contour just to add a bit of shape and definition in my face. And this is the Africa by W7, and I'm just applying that onto my face now. So using a brush, what I already had in the packaging, I'm in the um like makeup, I'm just going to contour my cheeks while sucking in my cheeks and just applying it onto my corner. So that's one done. I don't put a lot on. I just don't like all this, but I'm doing this for the look. So I've just done that and now I'm going to blend it with a kabuki brush. So now I'm just going to do my, should I do my blush and this is a Clinique um, Pink Love and it's this one here, you can see that one, or I might use the, I might use Precious Posy, I'm going to use Precious Posy, so now I'm using my W7 cheek brush I'm just gonna yeah so now for blusher I'm just gonna use my Clinique palette and it's the pink boy precious posy and it's just this curly colour here I was gonna use pink love but then go a bit natural so I'm just gonna put that on my W7 blush brush and then I'm just gonna smile and Apply it to my apples on my cheeks. So blush is done, and now on to the overall eye look. I'm going to apply my Body Shop White, just this one here, just onto my eyelid, and it's just on my fingers. Because I'm not all into brushes, to be honest. Just applying that on my eyelid. Like so, just to brighten in, and now I'm just gonna use my. I'm gonna use. I don't know. I don't know which one to use. So, I'm gonna use this number seven one. This color, and it's called Good. It's called Good, and I'm just gonna use my George brush. 
in the crease and just the outer corner. I'm nervous. The crease and outer corner. And this is a neutral orangey taupey colour. I just think it's a nice colour, especially for this look. So eyeshadows, nearly doing. I'm just going to add a couple more browns to this look. So just keep watching. Now for a bit more of a defined look, I'm going to use this colour. It's in the same palette as the other one. I'm just going to roll up my laptop, and I'm just going to use this one, and it's in. Just like I'm using the same brush with the leftovers of the other one, just in the crease, and I'm just going to. so confusing to do. Just, yeah. The crease. Like that, so it just adds a bit more darker. More darker to find look. So it's like that. And now I realise that she has like a shimmery gold taupey colour. So I'm going to use my MAC Pure Energy colour. And I'm just going to use that same brush because that's how I do it. <laughs> I just wipe that off. And then I'm just apply this onto like my crease and then my tear duct. Just to create the look. Just one in one out. That's a really nice colour, and I just forgot, just forgot to do my eyebrows. So I'm just going to quickly do them now before I finish off the eye look. For my eyebrows, I'm using Ash by Mac and my just my everyday angled brush from the Body Shop. I could do this freehand if I want. I'm just going to brush out my eyebrows really quickly. And this is just an old mascara, like brush. Going to recycle, I think. And I'm just going to do my everyday eyebrows. I'm not going to do them too dramatic. I'm just going to do them just right. And they may look a bit darker. But I'm not finished. So that's my eyebrows nearly done. They look like slugs at the moment, but yeah, they look like slugs. But I'm oh, just gonna brush them through. And they look less sluggy like, as you can see. They look more natural. So that's what. Oh god, what's that? Yeah, so that's the eyebrows done, and now I'm just going to carry on doing my eyes and then I'll show you a close. So I'm going to use Bad Girl Lash by Benefit and Rimmel and Scandalized Waterproof Mascara. And Bad Girl Lash is such a pr pretty, such a nice mascara to use if you're not going to use false lashes, and I'm not going to use false lashes, but you can if you want. But you're going to. You need like a natural sort of one, natural eyelashes, and just go put this on. Because whenever you put like eyelashes on, you've got to have a good mascara underneath. And if you are applying false lashes, I don't recommend like curling your eyelashes before. Because your eyelashes can go a different direction, it's not very good. Now I'm just gonna let them dry a bit, and now I'm gonna apply my Rimmel Linen Scandalized Waterproof. And these are dupes, I think, together. But obviously, because it's waterproof, I'm just gonna. 
make sure we're safe. So now on to lips and I'll give you a close-up as well. So this is what my eyes look like when they're finished. Just a really natural sort of eyes and I've just put on my Hydrate by Baby Lips onto my lips just to get ready for the lips. I'm going to use my Bourjois um, Rose Renique in 17. This is just a natural nudie pinky colour and it's really nice for this look. I've applied that and now I'm going to use her glossiness by Benefit in Didn't Hear It From Me just to add a bit more gloss and a bit more of colour. A bit more of a nudie colour. And I think we are done for this look. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'm just going to do a close up of all my face in two seconds. So this is what the finished makeup look looks like. And it's just a really natural Taylor Swifty look and I hope you enjoyed it and keep subscribing. And remember to click that subscribe box because it's free. And I've only got seven subscribers. And I put a lot of effort into my videos and go subscribe to Amy Pimmy One as well. And all of that jazz. And I hope you enjoy it and bye.